All right. Ooh, game art. 51 designs, 33 text, six weeks. Let's do it. Get those medium, uh, medium contracts going. Meets the required ratings. Looking forward to future business. Darn right. Invest some money into new office equipment where we'll lose a lot of time working with our old PCs. 150,000. Fucking A. Let's do it though. Ooh, loading screen. Hey, look at that. Proper computers. No more CRTs. Mmm. And G3 training. Since G3 has become the biggest meetup of game developers every year, we have decided to use our name for the greater good. Starting today, we offer different game development challenges throughout the year where game devs from around the world can compete with each other. This will be a great way for game developers to learn something new. You are welcome to join in at any time. There are no prices, but it should be a great way to increase everyone's skills. The G3 committee. I think I will. I think it's very expensive to do, though. Am I wrong? Yeah, it's very expensive to do. <laughs> Thought so. There's the vacations. All right. Let's get you both in sync. There we go. Go. And go. I will research how to make more money. Um, new topic, I guess. No, fuck it. I'll just wait. Is there like a really small contract I can do while you guys are gone? Hmm, not really. Let's see if I can pop off another publisher deal. That turned out really good, that one. Well, not really good. It turned out okay. I don't know if they've reset, though. Any RPG for the PC? Uh, yeah. Or any topic, any genre, any console. Just make something. 11% royalties, 10% royalties. 90, 90k up front. Bigger penalty, though. I think I'll do any topic RPG for that one. <laughs> May as well. Or any simulation game for the play system, too. Any topic, any genre, any system. 11% royalties. Slightly more money. Alright, we'll do it. Uh, for everyone, let's see here. We could do an awesome racing game again. I just did that though. We could go for a sports action game. Haven't done that in a while. For the PC. Popular Play System 2 game, or PS2 games. Oh, Grand Theft Auto Vice City was a lot of fun, but I think that was later on in its life, wasn't it? I don't remember. I don't remember. Medium, everyone. Sports, action. Hmm. I guess we can just go with that. Yeti Sports, why not? Something simple. For everyone, medium, everyone. Sports action, PC, Yeti 3.0, go. 3D graphics, go. Haven't done a sports game in a while, and only need to get a 6, I think it was. Not bad. I think we can pull it off. We just got back from vacation. Everybody's feeling good and refreshed. We got a lot of research points on the back burner, so as soon as we get a lot of money, we can research, make a new engine, and start kicking ass again. Let's see here. Simple cutscenes, yeah. Don't really need a branching story. Tons of gameplay and engine, though. That's like really cut down on story and quests. We really don't need it much. Don't need too much engine either. Well, then again, multiplayer. That's like hot seat gaming, I suppose. Um, I guess that'll work again just fine. Let's actually just do that again. So they're both at 50%. Nice and clean. A little bit of hype. Not bad. Our publisher's actually advertising a little bit for us. That's always good when that happens. Saves me the 50k of putting a little uh, article in the magazine. Uh, and then that will... Um, yeah, I think that'll be fine for... Well, sports action. Yeah, that'll be fine. Yeah. Yeah, that'll be... That'll be fine. Yeah, pretty much the same thing. Actually, a Sasquashed. Good bit of hype, still generating it. Nice. I feel like I should have done a little bit of training. Sold 2.3 million units, generating just over 2 million in sales. Ugh, those royalties. Ugh, they'll get you. And 
and I suppose that'll be fine. Pretty much the same game, <laughs> just a slightly different point of view. Oh, there's a four for technology, I saw that. That was a big bubble. Tons of twos though, twos are becoming fairly regular. Oh, I think we can actually get 100-100 this time around. 18 hype. Uh, do it. Do it. Uh-oh. The MBAX came out today. That pretty much screams sci-fi action, right? Halo? Am I right? I'm thinking. Go. 123 design, 101 technology. Boom. New records. Good management. I feel like sports action might not be the right combo. Sports simulation? Is that what it was? Oh god, maybe I screwed up. They both got a raise though, and they both have special training available. Special training? Oh, boosts. Haha, <laughs> right. They don't have the um, stuff though. Oh god, please don't be a flop. I think I chose the wrong thing. No, okay, we're good. Eight, very enjoyable from Star Games. A nine, a great game from Informed Gamer. An eight, love it, from Game Hero. And a nine, outstanding game from all games. Nice. Uh, we came back from vacation so we can develop a new game for everyone. It is going to be a sci-fi action game for the M-Box. Taking a plunge. 83.0. Not necessarily Halo. Something different. Something not. Planet ring thing. Yeah. God. Realistically, I think it'd be a medium game. But we'll go small so we can reap all the profits. We're gonna see. I'm hinging on the success of Yeti Sports to help me afford this game. We're gonna go for the branching story and all that. Um, may as well. Yeah, go for it. There we go. We might actually get the uh, the G3 thing. Game meets the required ratings. Darn right it does. Blue bit games. Already sold over a million units. Rank 21. God, I wish I didn't get such low royalty rate. Then again, we're... Wah! <clears throat> then again, we're at one point... Apparently, you can rotate this thing really quickly if you press the middle mouse button. And I don't know why I did that, but I did. 1.6 million, though. So, I think the royalty rate was 11%. That's not bad. Much better than 8%. So, not horrible. I'm okay with this. Uh, it looks like we're still getting, like, a dollar per unit, though. Mm. $10 games. Um, right. Dialogues. Level design. Yeah. Good bit level design. Not so much dialogues. Yeah. Mmm. We're getting a lot of money for this game. go big with a medium booth. I'm really taking a plunge here. We're going like all out with this Halo clone. Um, graphics and sound. Yeah, world design, a little bit, you know, what else? Mm. Hmm. Focus a little more on graphics and sound. Why not? Oh man, we're doing some good stuff here. These guys are alright. They gotta do some training though. And we'll let them polish it up. There's G3. There's our stand. Advertising Yeti Sports and Planet Ring thing. For the M-Box. Oh man, oh man. Ooh, ooh, hey! Oh, 177,278 people. That's a new personal best. Didn't make it into the top 100 though. Man. 67,000 fans, Yeti Sports really did well. Whoops. I clicked trying to make this bit go faster, but it doesn't work like that. Fix the bug. Fix the bug. Yo. 112 design, 95 technology. Not new records, but you know what? That's still pretty dang good. This small game was as good as that medium game. That should mean something. Gameplay just about leveled. 3D graphics version 2 did level, and I'm about to level here pretty soon. 
3D Graphics version 3 is now available. Let's do some training. We got just under $3 million and we invested a lot into this game. This could be huge. Alright, so Pixel Cup Code Jam, Game Jam. Okay, game, uh, game design, technology, I'm thinking. Time trials is speed. Innovation challenge, probably research. So Pixel Cup would be everything? Am I doing that right? So for you, Code Jam for technology. We're going for this stuff, the fancy stuff. Train. Your design. So go for, actually go for the... Because mm, you can almost afford boost. I would love to get boost with people. Um, just go game jam. I think that'll just be straight up game design, yeah? Ah, it's Pixel Cup, well-rounded. Oh boy, here's the reviews. Ooh, I think I did it. Nine, more plays from Star Games. Nine, sci-fi and action, it's a great combination from Informed Gamer. Eight, played it for days from Game Hero. And a ten, everyone loves it. From all games. And a proposition. I don't want to sabotage, no thank you. And I will train. I'll go with the Pixel Cup. I gotta get that boost. Planet Ring thing first week sales. Uh, over a hundred. Oh, just under a hundred thousand units. You kidding me? Rank 10 though. Not bad. Rank 12 second week. Oh, come on. Pick up. There you go. Third week's rising a little bit. Come on, training. We did a medium game, then a small game. Yeti Sports is now off the market, sold 3 point, uh, about 3.2 million units, generating 3.9-ish million in sales. A lot of good surprises waiting for you in Planet Ring Thing. Visually pleasing is an understatement. The game looks incredibly good. Summary, best game ever. Again, from Curtin Gill and Gamers, the previous ge best game ever was Yodeler Hero. Nice, expectations are low. Good to know. Um... Your technology is so close. Go for the pixel. Did you just do pixel cup? Go for the pixel cup. Hopefully you still get huge bonuses. You can do boost. <sighs> Big investment. It's worth it though. Boost is so good. Oh my gosh, the fans. Oh, the fans. We're almost at 100,000. And then train. Can't do boost yet. Let's go for... Uh, Go for Game Jam. Let's go for Game Jam. Spending a lot of money on training, but it's worth it. We're going to come flying out of the gates here pretty soon. It's getting a lot of design, not so much tech. There we go. Boosts are a powerful tool. Allows you to temporarily increase the output of your staff. They are the most effective when timed strategically during the development of a game or during training. Boosts need to recharge before you can use them. You can activate a boost as soon as the recharge process is complete, but you can also wait a little longer to further increase the effectiveness of the boost. Oh yes. Still not quite there. But, I think it's about time for you guys to start notifications. <laughs> Planet Ring Thing is now off the market. It sold 283,000 units, generating just under 2 million in sales. Mm. That was worth it. I still can't boost. Drew can, though, and he's our design guy. So if we do an RPG later on, he'll be the guy. I really want to boost for me, though. Because if I can boost, I'm like all of the third stage development, so... Just press boost anytime during that third stage, and we'll be good. Uh, we'll look into that later. I'm thinking we're about due for a vacation. So we'll just polish off some contracts here, get a little bit of money, try to stay over 3 million. I suppose I could do some hefty research, actually. We got a lot of money. Do a new engine. Let's see here. 3D graphics. Uh, that'd be 80 research points. Holy crap. Okay. Maybe not quite that. Soundtrack could be badass. I want soundtrack. Sounds good with everything. Uh, dialogue tree would be good for uh, RPGs. Rich backstory for world design. May as well. That goes good with like everything. And you can go ahead and research. Video playback. Good for most games. 
Yeah, why not? Spending a lot of money here. We might do another publishing deal and then make a new engine and uh, we'll see. We'll see. Complete a soundtrack, they need a vacation. It's about time. Send on vacation. Finish up. Send on vacation. I will research. Um, oops. There we go. It's been a little while since I've done that. There we go. That's happened. Um, advanced cutscenes. I'm thinking possibly advanced cutscenes story quest. That's always good. AI companions could go for that. Could just say screw it and go 3D graphics here pretty soon. Let's get that going. I think we could wait a little bit though. Is there like a quick contract I can do? Like solo? No. Alright. Train. Uh, go for that design. Game dam. Uh, game dam? Game jam. Go for it. Hopefully it's not just like crap plus one plus one plus ones. Plus two. Oh, come on. I want to get to 500. I want boost for me. Welcome back, fellas. Yeah, your tech's almost kind of sort of there. We're running low on money, though, believe it or not. Uh, I suppose you guys can both do a quick contract while you wait for me to finish up my thing. 23, 28, I think you guys can do that in five weeks. Play test a game while I uh, participate in this G3 code jam thing. And there's my design, passing over 500. Yeah. Good deal. Ninvento announced the new Ninvento Game Sphere. With which it will try to compete with Vony's market leading Play System 2 and Micronauts' strong alternative, the M Box. The curiously shaped console has similar hardware specifications as other consoles. The Game Sphere is Ninvento's first console to have an optical disk drive instead of cartridges. However, instead of using full size CDs and DVDs like its competitors, the console features a mini DVD drive. Game Spheres will start rolling into stores next month. This was my first, no, second console, I think. And the Nintendo's, Nintendo 64 is my first, and then I bought a uh, GameCube. Good stuff. Good, good stuff. Got that contract done. Uh, train. Boost. Hey, can you guys do another contract while you wait for me? Perhaps that first one? Perhaps that second one? Fuck, you guys could probably do both of these. Nine weeks, 4322, that's pretty easy. Review a game concept. It's bad. Yeah, I'll take my money, please. Yeah. Easy. Oh, I'm excited that I'm getting boost. It's a huge investment, though. Like, the cash is... Eh. My monthly payment's getting pretty nasty. It's a play system. No longer supported. Released one games for it. For a total of 2.1 million. That was, uh... First Fantasy, I think. And here we go. Publishing deal. 